Hey there, Brett, I see you looking down. Don't want to see my little buddy there with a the frown. Just because I get more women than you, well, that's only because they don't know you like I do. Sure you're weedy and kind of shy, but some girly out there must be needy for a weedy shy guy. They want you as they needle when they're rolling in the hay. Just hit me out when I say, Brett, you got it going on. The ladies will get to know your sexuality when they get to know your personality. I said, bet you got it going on. Not in a gay way, just in a hey, mate. I wanted to say that you're looking okay, mate. Why can't a heterosexual guy tell a heterosexual guy that he thinks his booty is fly? Not all the time, obviously, just when he's got a problem with his self-esteem. Don't let anybody tell you you're not humpable, because you're bumpable. Well, I hope this doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. If I say you got a boom out, out, come on, Brett, help me out now. Brett, you got it going on. I got it going on. That's the conclusion that I've come to, but that doesn't mean that I want to bum you. Brett, you got it going on. You got it going on. No doubt about it, we'd be getting crazy if one of us was lucky enough to be born a lady. Oh, if one of us was a lady, and I was your man, if I was your man, well, sometimes it gets lonely, and I need hate a woman, and then I imagined you with some bosoms. In fact, one time when we were touring, and I was really lonely, and we were sharing that twin room in the hotel, I put a wig on you when you were sleeping, I put a wig on you. Ooh, 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 and I just lay there and spooned you. Oh, Brett, you got it going on.